हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन ऑफ सोशल स्टडीज दैट इज द ब्रिटिश पीरियड इन इंडिया सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बाय द मिड फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी अरब ट्रेडर्स हैड एस्टाब्लिश्ड अ फ्लरिशिंग ट्रेड इन टेक्सटाइल सिल्क एंड मेनली स्पाइसेस विद इंडिया यूरोपियन कंट्रीज टू वॉन्ट एक्सेस टू द बूमिंग ट्रेड विद इंडिया The European rulers, especially the Portuguese, started exploring new sea routes to India, so that they can bypass the land route controlled by the Arabs and the Turk. Vasco da Gama, a Portuguese sailor, was the first European to reach India by sea. He reached Calicut in 1498 after going around the tip of Africa. The Portuguese captured Goa by 1510. They later also got hold of Diu and Daman. The flourishing economy of the Portuguese due to trade with India attracted the Dutch, the British and the French merchants. All these countries made India their trade destination. Advent of East India Company British traders formed a trading company called the East India Company in the year 1600 with the consent of the Queen of England the company soon started trading with the eastern countries especially India the Mughal emperor Jahangir who ruled India at the time allowed the British in 1608 to trade and even build factories accordingly the east india company set up its first factory at surat for storing goods and commodities by the next century the british were on their way to establish their rule in india building many more factories along the indian sea coast how the british acquired india to establish their rule in india the british took advantage of the internal unrest prevalent among the indian rulers they used religion and caste difference to divide and rule they expanded their reach and rule in india by defeating the indian rulers the indian rulers had allowed certain trade concessions to the british and the french traders in 1757 when sirajuddaulah the nawab of bengal found out that the british led by robert clive were misusing their concessions a conflict arose between them two this led to the battle of plassey in 1757 which marked the beginning of the british rule in india rise of discontent amongst the indians the british exploited the indians both politically and economically the british annexation of princely territories resulted in poverty and unemployment of soldiers craftsmen and others peasants reeled under the burden of heavy taxes the interference of the british in age old beliefs also angered the general public indian working in the british army and other jobs were not treated with respect they were paid lesser than their co british workers and were also made to work under british soldiers they were also forbidden from the following religious rituals like putting tilak or growing beard and moustaches the mutiny of 1857 the siphoning of wealth and uprooting of native industries by the british led to the discontent and unrest amongst the indian people this finally resulted in the uprising of 1857 the british introduced enfield rifles the cartridge of which were lined with the animal fat that is the cattle and the pig 
the sepoys were required to bite off the cartridge covers on 29th march 1857 mangal pande an indian sepoy in the british bengal cantonment of barakpur objected to biting off the cartridge covers he fired at a british officer for which he was arrested tried and executed his execution angered other sepoys and resulted in a huge revolt of 1857 by the sepoys of north and the central india the revolt spread to the marath regiment which marched to delhi on may 11th 1857 to proclaim the mughal emperor bahadur shah as the emperor of india it's then spread further to agra kanpur and lucknow nana saheb peshwa tatya tope rani lakshmi bai of jhansi and begum hazrat mahal of awadh led an uprising in their respective kingdoms the mutiny of 1857 was ended the first war of independence india under the british crown the revolt of 1857 brought india under the direct rule of queen of england consequently the governor general's title was changed to viceroy who was the representative of the queen on in india spread of new ideas and social reforms the educated indians worked towards social reforms reformers like raja ram mohan roy ishwar chandra vidya sagar dayanand saraswati all raised their voices against the various social evils like child marriage caste system female infanticide and sati indian national congress the people understood that the british were not interested in developing the nation but in accumulating riches for themselves in 1855 ao hume founded the indian national congress it aimed at involving the educated indians in the country's administration dadabhai naroji surendranath banerji and gopal krishna gokhale are the prominent members of inc